You're listening to the 10th episode of Welcome to Fairmont. That's the number we're going with here, right? Anyway, we've put all our previous episodes up on YouTube in case you're interested in knowing how we got to what you're about to listen to. Just search for Welcome to Fairmont and you should find us. Welcome to Fairmont is written and performed by Colleen Fries and Alana Orion. Thanks for listening and enjoy. We don't have any idea what's going to happen today, but then, do we ever? Welcome, Welcome to, to Fairmont. Fairmont. Today is one of those rare days when there's very little to report. There's been a sort of oppressive vibration sound heard in certain vents around the building lately, though the implications of this are still rather vague. I think I heard that earlier today, actually. Did you? I have no idea what it could be, though. Oh, I was hoping you might have some insight into what it was so we could actually have something to talk about. At least until something else comes up, because we all know something will happen before we're done here today. I could tell you what it was. I could tell you a lot of things. Uh, what was that random voice coming from the vents? Well, see, I could tell you about the sound in the vents if I felt like it. Has it suddenly become completely acceptable for people to crash this show? I don't care who you are lurking in that vent. Go log on with the director like you're supposed to. Well, how was I supposed to know the procedure? It's posted literally everywhere in the media room. I don't know how you missed it. Fine. I'll be right back. (laughs) Good luck with that. It usually takes a week to just get your name through the system, let alone your entire physical being and all your past and future memories. I am so glad I've never had to go through that process. You know, I don't think I've had to either. Hey guys, there's something in the cafeteria you might want to see. Well, okay then. Looks like we're taking the show to the cafeteria. Any idea what this could be about? I have a few ideas, but I think I'd like to keep them to myself. What about you? Any thoughts you want to share? I mean, I sort of think that some of our classmates are causing some kind of trouble, but I really hope I'm wrong there. That is one of the thoughts that crossed my mind. I really just hope it's not a certain pair of rivals who aren't allowed in the radio room anymore. Yeah, but it looks like that was too much to ask, wasn't it? Patrick and Willie are here in the commons, looking as if they're going to start fighting. The forces of nature that usually try to break up fights have completely given up on stopping these two and are just trying to keep other students out of it at this point. People are dying because of you! I'm trying to teach you to have some respect for the dead. Well, this is an interesting turn of events, isn't it? Where did you come from? And are those floating lunch trays? I was already here. And yes, yes they are. This is really bad. Should we try to break it up? I think that would be stupid. Although, I must admit, I'm a little bit curious to see what's about to happen. Are you serious? They could seriously hurt one another, or worse, someone else. We all live in perpetual danger. You said it yourself, you're never actually safe anyway. So it's theoretically no more or less dangerous to be standing here reporting on what's happening than it is to intervene or to go back to the radio room. Are you sure you're understanding that concept? Nope. But this option makes for the best story. Patrick and Willie are looking at each other, the anger evident in both of them. The shouting that led up to this point has subsided, and lunch trays are starting to float off the tables. Hey, that's my job! Are, are the lunch trays floating because of Patrick or Willie? Oh, they're starting to fly towards Willie now. I guess they're Patrick's, but they're getting closer to Willie, and oh goodness, they've, they've just lost all momentum and landed his feet. Is Willie more solid now? Oh my gods, he's just picked up a chair. He's advancing on Patrick. Stop it! You guys are just making things worse! Why would we listen to you? You two are the whole reason there's a problem here to begin with. And why should we stop? I've become so powerful, I could eat. What just happened? I'm just going to say that I'm glad we aren't dead. Hey! You know what I mean. Yeah, I know, and you're right. It's a good thing we still exist. Hey, Lydia, what just happened? Don't ask me. You could ask me. How did you get back here so fast? I logged on with the director, like you told me to. Wow. So... You said you could tell us what just happened? No, I said you could ask me. I may or may not be able to give you an answer. Well, can you? Not yet. 
First, I'm going to answer your question from earlier about the vibration in the vents. I'm not sure if you're aware, but that kind of became a little less troubling of a question as soon as Patrick and Willie started fighting. Less troubling. I am less troubling. Well, that's just more troubling. I'm sorry, what? Yes, it is troubling that you find me less troubling than your petty classmates. And to think, I had this school in a complete uproar for weeks before that monster truck came in and drove me out. I really liked that vending machine. Wait, Craig? Yes, if you're using that inferior human name administration gave me, I would prefer it if you called me But your measly human tongues wouldn't be able to handle that. So, let me get this straight. You're back from wherever you disappeared to all those months ago, and you've been making an oppressive vibration since you got back, and now you're just lurking in the vents? Yes, that is correct. So are you going to explain why there's a weird vibration, or do we just have to chalk it up to one of your eccentricities? The vibrating sound is actually... But assuming neither of you speak demonic and didn't understand that, you can just assume that it's one of my eccentricities. Well then, what about our other question? Can we at least answer that? The answer to that is simple. The school did it. One moment you were in the cafeteria, the next you were back here. That's how the school wanted it. The school is sentient? It's also my best friend, so be careful what you say. So, the school is sentient, and it's your best friend? Wow, okay. Um, are you going to keep sending students to other realms, or...? Only if they give me a reason to. I think I'll leave now. Goodbye. I can't figure out what the weirdest thing that has happened today has been. I honestly couldn't tell you. We should probably sign off before anything else crazy happens. Good idea. Thanks for listening, and don't forget, happy nightmares. Welcome to Fairmont is a WKAT production written and performed by Colleen Fries as Psyche and Alana O'Brien as Harmony, with guest appearances by John Badgley as Craig and the new voice of Willie, Lydia Fries as her zombified self, Micah Coberman as Patrick, and McKenna Kramer as Misty. It is inspired by the podcast Welcome to Night Vale by Jeffrey Craner and Joseph Fink. Tune in next time for the season finale of Welcome to Fairmont. Until then, happy nightmares. <laughs>